Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Death Knights of Kryn. We're in the hold of the shipwreck just off the coast on the northern edge of the map, and we've defeated a large force of undead rats in one giant zombie. So now we're going to turn north and there's a door up this way secret door at least paint locker crossbow bolts tear into the party from all sides oh crap we <laughs> weren't able to disarm the trap but we did find the pirate's tr <coughs> treasure <coughs> <coughs> So, add some gems and jewelry and steel. And, let's see, that should be banded mail plus three and a long sword plus three. So that's like uh, plate mail plus two. So we will definitely look to see if we can use that. Okay, she's got banded plus two. Plate plus two. <coughs> of course. <coughs> Plate plus three. Chain plus four, which is like banded plus three. And then, of course, Durfee is Salamnic Plate. Uh, probably we'll give the banded male plus three to. Brienne, who's currently using banded plus two. Okay, so. So with a shield, she's got an armor class of minus five with the banded plus two and We switch to the banded plus three. Yep, minus six. But we always check to make sure we can unequip anything we put on. Okay, and then we have a long sword plus three. Huh. Maybe maybe we'll have John take the long sword plus three. Okay, and we got some bonus experience. We'll save. And now we need to get off the ship. Yeah, we'll take the ladder up. And we'll go down the hall. And climb out of the ship. No, we don't enter this time. Okay, we'll just encamp here by the shore. Looks like John's eligible for a promotion. And fix. And rest. Well, first. Oh, advanced.
Now we rest. Let's save again. Okay, we might want to go to Calaman very briefly. And then basically we have Cerberus. And then there's a town called Dulcimer. Now the you know the way the main plot is described in the front of the clue book, they suggest that you go to Cerberus first and then go to Dulcimer. But we might go to Dulcimer first instead. We'll see. Ah, move. Okay, the humans leave us alone. Okay, sitting aids greet us. <coughs> and the gangs, the local gangs have learned to fear us. Yes, and we'll get John trained. And he gets to learn a new spell. We'll try mirror image. could maybe get stuff ID'd here, although I don't think we're going to be buying anything. So basically we'll just wander around until we find somebody who's offering like Fine wears the East or superb elven arrows. And the other things, they're fun, but they're not really necessary. Ah, uh, worthless. I mean, now the capes of cryptic cloth were actually useful, like something magical. That would be one thing, but they're not. Okay, there we go. So we can at least get stuff identified here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, when we shopped at that armored merchant caravan on the way up to the coast, we were able to get some stuff identified there.
Okay, so that's basically it. I think there was a bizarre date. Oh, thugs jump us? I didn't know there were any thugs. Still interested in bugging us. a lightning bolt here. There, that thins the crowd out quite a bit. I was a little surprised that there were th still thugs attacking us, or willing to attack us in Calaman. Okay. We'll take some arrows for and darts for Durfee. Okay. And we'll have Brienne heal John. Yep, there's a bizarre gate. No thank you. And that should be the end. Just
Okay, and he gets to learn one. He gets to memorize one more druid spell. Maybe charm person or mammal. <coughs> okay, so let's leave Calaman now. Okay. Ah. All right, Cerberus is here. Dulcimer's here. Let's go to Dulcimer first, which is slightly out of story order, but that's okay. This main street leads into Dulcimer. From the west you smell rotten vegetables. Zombies fill a market to the east. A dog lurches past, pursued by an undead child. Yeah, this is actually sort of a mirror image of Cerberus, except everybody's undead. So, let's... Go Zombie merchants fill the farmer's market. Undead children play in the central area. A towering lich approaches and bows. Welcome to Dulcima. I'm the mayor here. Have you perchance ever visited Cerberus? No. Lich scowls and you fear it might attack. No, it is the model on which this town was designed. Make a point to visit it soon. You may explore freely with two exceptions. Stay away from the eastern exit. And also my private chamber. Obey these laws and you'll have no trouble here. The Lich departs. Okay. And there is a note in the clue book that the turning ability of clerics is diminished while in this town. You face a reeking chicken coop. Enter the coop? Uh, sure. You startle a flock of zombie chickens. They flap all over the coop, filling the air with decomposing feathers. Okay. Yeah. I think we're done investigating the marketplace. Probably isn't anything we'd want here. The main section of Dulcimer lies before you. The undead citizens carry on mundane tasks as though they were still alive. A sign reads Muddy Plate Tavern. The tavern keeper was only recently killed. He peers at you through his good eye. Care for a drink? Do you accept? Uh, no thank you. You politely decline. A sign proclaims Muddy Straw Inn. An extremely decomposed zombie lurches toward you. It makes a gobbling sound gesturing around the inn, then shuffles away. Yeah, looks muddy.
Okay, I think. Where are we? Huh. Oh, okay. You find a man imprisoned in some stocks. He's alive, but not for much longer. Free him? He staggers to his feet and thanks you. Listen, he says. There's a specter in town who hates the lich. He'll appear at the eastern exit. Ah, which is one of the places, of course, that we were warned away from. And there should be... Yeah. Building here. You've interrupted a zombie card game. A pile of treasure lies atop the card table. They attack! And, of course, it's not just ordinary zombies. It's giant zombies! So, it's quite likely that we're not going to be able to turn these guys. Okay. I suppose at least as undead go, these aren't as harmful as some that you might run into. No damage, but they won't level drain. definitely want to save early, save often when we're attempting to rest because there is no entirely safe place to rest in Dulcima. Not even at the Muddy Straw Inn. Since the zombies aren't going to level train us, I don't mind just wailing away at them with weapons. So the zombie giant stunned, I'm not... I mean, it doesn't say it's helpless, but I suppose it's not going to attack. So, let's find out what they were, what their treasure was. Yeah, some gems, jewelry, steel. And that should be a long sword plus four, a potion of invisibility, four darts plus three, and a long sword plus four. So that's pretty cool. Well, we'll distribute those items among the party, and when we come back, we will probably beard the lich in his lair, so to speak. So we will see you then.